Hi, I'm Mike Geary. I am with FeatheredAngels.org. We are a waterfowl sanctuary. I'm also uh, an IT person and computer engineer. And i um, currently working on a project for one of my ducks named Buttercup, who kind of became world famous uh, last summer, and building him prosthetics and going to help other ducks and geese with prosthetics. But I wanted to talk to you about the new Polymaker filaments. Part of um, this process involved making sure I had uh, good materials that uh, would be durable um, but yet flexible and and meet my needs for um, for my project here so my machine basically is a um, replicator one dual clone um, it's just a copy a dual extruder um, first I want to show you the polyflex which is a really cool filament um, you can see it's really really bendable stretchy. Um, one cool thing that uh, the Polymaker guys do is they all come in these great Ziploc bags with the desiccant. Um, so many of the other filaments just come in a plastic bag and as soon as you open them you don't have any way to reseal them or you got to get your own bag. But they come with their own resealable bag which is really nice. They also come with the really good clips on them which usually you have to provide for yourself. So this is the Polyflex. Uh, this is the Polymax over here, which is crazy strong. It's got the typical consistency of, you know, of any other PLA as far as the feel of it before it goes through the printer. Um, if you want to see, um, you can see some of the sections of parts that I've created here. Um, you can see the quality that it creates. Now, this is the Polymax. Polymax was really important for me because uh, this foot has movable has a movable hinge and so and the actual pin that goes through it that holds the two parts together is printed with the polymax also and so it's got to be durable as it bends back and forth and um, been testing for like I said about a month and um, buttercup's been wearing wearing his foot this is a earlier copy that I created of it that he tested with a little bit but um, the durability is great it's really, really nice, nice finish. Um, I generally print at um, about 210 for the Polymax and about 215 for the Polyflex. Now, this is a bottom of the Polyflex, and if you look at it, you'll see that I can bend it. You can bend it all the way over, I and mean, you can't break the stuff. You can bend it, it's got really good flexibility. Um, it feeds really well. It feeds just as good as the the regular Polymax. Um, this assembled piece here, of course, you can see that this moves back and forth as a hinge, and of course, the, the actual version that he wears has springs in the front and the back, so it centers itself. But um, like I say, this stuff is really even. Print little keychains with it, and pretty much print. Anything I'm going to print, regular PLA, use Polymax because it prints sweet and and um, smooth just like a regular PLA, but it's super, super strong. It's not brittle like a lot of the PLAs are. Um, with the Polyflex, I do have the adjustable um, springs on my extruder. Um did do the... MakerBot upgrade. Um, I've always had that. The Polyflex has has fed just fine, and I got a feeling it'll feed fine on probably most printers that they are. So I would highly recommend these filaments. Uh, I've tested with a lot of the other just kind of no name filaments. Um, the some of the just the standard imports that were cheap, and a lot of those wouldn't come off the roll good. You can see these are really wound nice and smooth never had a single problem with them catching or binding as it's unfeeding or as it feeding off of the roll um, and like I say the bag uh, they also come with a nice little sheet for each one that gives you some recommendations of um, ideal temperatures build plate temperatures and um, basically how to use it so Overall, super good package. It's probably the best filament that I've used, and I've used about five or six different brands at this point. 
and it's working really well for Buttercup and I uh, hope to help a bunch of other ducks and geese that need prosthetics uh, with the support and uh, made possible by a polymaker.